Hi! Hey, everybody! It's Julianne Lichty Stratton here from Actors in Action Conservatory of Film and Theater with Acting from All Angles, and today we are going to get into some voice work. I've had a couple of requests for this, so we're going to start the very basics of it, and I've got some really great goodies to share and some links and awesome stuff. But first, let me introduce myself to you. So yes, my name is Julianne Lichty Stratton, and I am the creator of Actors in Action Conservatory of Film and Theater, where we empower the passionate actor with the craft and skill to have a serious acting career. A lot of amazing stuff we've been doing. Um, every Thursday, we have this Facebook Live. It's a little... Um, show I do. We call it acting from all angles because we look at acting from all the different angles. It is noon MST US time because I'm in Utah. It's 11 a.m. LA time. It's 2 p.m. New York time. It's 7 p.m. London time. It's 10 p.m. Armenian time and it's 4 a.m. in Sydney. And the reason I'm telling you all those times is because we now have students all over the world, which is so thrilling and exciting that I am being able to reach all these people. So if you are interested in wor working like we do, let me know. DM me. Okay. All right. So let's dive in for this. This is exciting. Okay. So this is something that I'm working on personally in my acting right now, this particular type of voice work. So what it has a lot to do with right now is about opening your throat, okay? So a lot of times as actors, as human beings, we clamp our throats. So that's what it sounds like when we're clamping our throats. We shut our throats down, we lower our soft pellets, and we're like, like a rock in there, right? Now, especially if you're an American, American accents are very closed throated. They can be very closed throated. And a lot of European accents are more open throated. So what I'll often do is when I'm working with my actors with this, I'll say, do a British accent. And of course, you know, it's not going to be authentic for you people over in London right now. But, you know, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. You'll open up your throat. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. You'll t sound like a very pretentious British person, right? A bad American version of it. But what we're doing is we're opening up our throats and we're lifting up our soft palate and we're creating some space in our throats for resonance. But not only that, for relaxation and to allow our emotions out. All right, so if you naturally, if you get yourself to open your throat and lift up the soft palate a little bit and just get there relaxed like that, it is actually gonna connect you emotionally. So watch, it's connecting me emotionally right now while I do it. And this is a reason a lot of people shy away from this. It's because it makes you very vulnerable. If you notice I'm talking more slowly right now, that's because it's kind of hard to do this at first, so I'm taking it slowly. So this is not something you just wanna rush through. You wanna open your throat, lift the soft palate, and just say whatever comes to mind. It's very vulnerable, it's very scary, but it's very fun. So you can take your lines and do this with your lines too. To be or not to be, that is the question. And like I'm saying right now, it might sound a little weird and you'd never actually say it that way if you're on stage, but do you see how when I do it, it opens my throat and it connects emotionally. Can you feel that more? Can you feel, can you see the emotions coming out? Try it right now, try it with me. What the heck? Let's do it. And if you need to do a bad British accent, go ahead. Let's do to be or not to be. That is a question with a bad British accent. All right. Open your throat. To be or not to be. That is the question. Sounds silly. It looks silly, but watch how it's making you connected. Okay. So let's do it again. And you don't have to do it if the British accent doesn't work. If you already have a British accent and you feel like you speak with a closed throat, try this. Try just the start of a yawn, just barely yawning. To be or not to be, that is the question. Do you see that? 
So when we're acting, we want to be in touch spontaneously, of course, with our emotions. Get my hand here the whole time. I don't know why. It's like I want to choke my throat because I'm not choking it. So we want to feel. We want emotions to come out of us. Voice work is so key to that, guys. Our voices are so important. And I could talk for about two years straight just about voice work. There's so much stuff, right? In my classes, we get into some voice work. We don't have a voice training program yet. We will one day as we build this conservatory. But I do try to open up my students' eyes to different voice things, voice voice techniques they can work on. And this is one that I learned from a singing teacher in Chicago when I was at acting school in Chicago. So he taught me to sing with an open throat. And then I took that and translated it into speaking. And I had a lot of anxiety in my career, which stopped me a lot. And my anxiety would really shut down my voice. So I could do this like when I really worked on a piece, when I was playing Lady M or Ophelia or really doing something, I could open up my throat more and feel more. And that took a lot of time. And I've always practice trying to open it, trying to open it. But there's that vulnerability. There's that vulnerability that comes up and dealing with that is kind of hard. But but basically, you know, also being an artist is about saying, screw it. This is who I am. This is how I sound. This is what I look like. This is my art. This is my voice, right? So what we're trying to do with voice work, all voice work is getting us in touch with our authentic voice. What we sound like, yes, but not just what we sound like. What our experience is to us and how we share that with people. So in acting school, when I was in acting school, I had four years of training and each year we were in a voice class all, long, all year long. A voice class, a movement class, and an acting class each year and we learned different things. And in the voice classes, we did all different kinds of techniques and a bunch of different stuff. We did some Link later. We did some Lessac. Um, since then, I've done some Patsy Roddenberg. I've done a little bit of, um, um, let's see, Cecilia Berry. There's a lot of different things you can do. And then I've done this own little technique that I sort of stumbled on myself. And the whole purpose <clears throat> of voice work is to get you in touch more with yourself and to let out your voice. Not just the way you sound, but what you have to say as an actor, as an artist. That's what they mean by voice. So you take classes for voice, voice and speech. Voice is about letting your voice out. It's like a writer lets their voice out or a painter or, um, you know, you see something like, wow, they have such a strong voice. Um, Turner, the guy who did all those crazy mystical paintings, he has such a particular and strong voice. Everybody does. Picasso does, right? What are these voices? Um, and then you have singers that have a particular voice, not just the way they sound, but what, what their tone is what not they're just their tone but what they're what they're what they're saying i mean look at dylan look at some some fabulous opera singers um they all are saying something not it's just the sound of your voice so that's what we're going for okay and i'm just scratching the surface today we're gonna do more series about voice work so think of this as 101 part one this is one thing we're gonna do. So I'm gonna give you some exercises and I'm gonna give you a special treat, which I'm kind of feeling vulnerable to share with you because it's, I'll talk about it in a minute. It's, it's big and it's juicy and I think you'll love it, I hope. And it gets into the stuff. So this is a book that I put together. It's my acting process. I did this in, after college, after I trained. So I worked at Goldman Sachs as a temp and I had access to binding and printing and all kinds of stuff. So I was naughty and would print stuff out there. So this has a bunch of, this has my technique in it and this is what I teach in my classes. All my classes come from my own technique that I gleamed, glommed over the years. 
Okay, so right here, this is the relaxation of voice work part. Right here I have this chart that works on this open throat thing. And I will show it to you and I will give you access to this. Um, it's in here, I promise. Okay, here's the chart, here's the chart. So it talks about these up and down bells. You can't see it very well, well right now, but I'm gonna set, put a link in here so that you can go ahead and download it, okay? So one great way to work on opening your throat is to get into the vowel work. So there is what I call up vowels and down vowels. So like ah uh, is a down vowel. So when you say ah, uh, you wanna imagine as if you have some energy that's going like this, ah, uh, down. E is an up vowel. So you wanna imagine when you're saying E that you have energy going like this, E, up, E. So ah uh, and E, we've got O is an up vowel, ooh, ah, ah, eh, ah. Those are all down vowels. So in this little chart I'm giving you, you're gonna, you're gonna practice your up and down vowels that are gonna help you open up your throat, okay? And remember, it's gonna sound weird at first, especially you're used to hearing other things and you're gonna have to do it slowly, but eventually you'll be able to to just clip along and have that beautiful open throat, which will resonate with you in your body. It'll resonate with other people. It'll send your emotions out more. It'll make you so much of a more powerful actor. Wah. You're gonna have to put on your cape and tights. You're gonna be so great. Um, okay, so the next thing you would do is, let's see, I'm going to show you what we worked on. All right, here. The next thing that you would do Nope, not right there, right here, is you would go through some text. Um, uh, oh, Hudson is here and he says, Carson Robles, check this out. That's awesome, Carson. I mean, uh, Carson and, and Hudson, yeah. Okay, so I don't know if you can see this very well. I'm also gonna probably put this in. So what I did was I went into these, let's see, sorry, I'm on my phone. So I went in to these words and I marked up and down vowels, okay? You can see the little, lines that go up and then lines that go down. And then diphthongs are slightly different. They are an up or they are a down and an up vowel as well. They're combined like I or ow. Oi is a double up. It goes oi, oi, okay? So you're gonna mark those in your script. So this script we were working on something from Proof, which is a great, a great play. And so the line is Katie. So A-E, those are two up vowels. So Katie, Katie, and then would you like to come to New York? Okay, so what I would do is I would practice this as part of my voice work, part of my back work, part of my exploration for the scene. And then when I would say the lines, Katie, would you like to come to New York? When I do that, it's gonna resonate emotionally with me more. Katie, would you like to come to New York? It's gonna stir stuff up more because I'm saying it with an open throat and I'm gonna open those channels and open those pathways, okay? So I would mark all of my script and I would go through and I would say those slowly and explore those lines. And then, you know, a huge thing that we do in my classes is this thing called the big trick, which is after, hey Chippy, my cat's right here, one of them, which is after you do all this back work, you do a bunch of personalization, you find your verbs, you do a, a breakdown, you do voice work. After you do that, you let it go and you just allow stuff to come out. So that's what you're gonna do. This is part of the work that would just come out. So it would be like, Katie, would you like to come to New York? And you just let it out, you just practice that. So this is a concerned sister talking to her sister. Uh, Claire is a sister that I'm reading right now. Her sister, she's afraid her sister is, is schizophrenic, is becoming for schizophrenic like their father. She's concerned, she wants to take her to New York to take care of her. So these emotions are stirred, okay? So this is gonna add some cool depth. All right, so that's what I would do um, if you wanna work on this. This is just scratching the surface, right? So I'm gonna put a link down in, in here to our 
our chart that has up and down vowels and has all the consonants with it, so you can practice those. And then you just take a script, mark those up and down vowels and practice it. Open your throat, practice saying it, and then let it go. And see if it fills you up more. See if it helps you connect to yourself and to your partner more, okay? So the last thing I'm gonna offer, and this one I'm, I'm a little, uh, um, I'm not, uh, I just have some feelings about offering this. So we did this work last night in um, a, an advanced intermediate session that we had. I had um, just a few people show up to it. So I decided instead of doing my regular class um, that we would do instead some deep voice work. So there's this whole, it's about two hours long. I'm gonna send you the link to it. It's my class, of, it's one of the class we did last night. And it walks you through what we just are working on here. So if you want to watch that, I think it'll be super helpful to really walk you through. And these are some of my advanced and intermediate students working on that. And then also we do some verb playing in that as well. So you kind of get to see the inner workings of my classes, which is fine. But it's it's juicy. It's very individual. It's It's cool stuff. So if you want, you can take a look at that. We also then, oh, we do some great stuff. We talk about audition process because another thing I really do with my actors is try to get them to have a strong process for both their acting and for their auditioning. So we talk a little bit about my process, what I do with acting and auditioning, how I prepare, how I get ready to do my best work. And we work through a couple of individual things with them. So it's a really cool thing. Okay. That's what I got for you today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have any questions, if you wanna study, DM me, uh, uh, friend me on Facebook, um, you know, just let me know. I'd love to help you out however I can. So I'm actually doing a 45 minute free coaching session with people that are new. So if you wanna find out about that, I will put that link in as well. You can just schedule it with me. We can work on whatever you wanna work on. I will talk about my classes and see if you wanna take, you know, and study with us, but you get this free session of coaching. So, awesome. Thanks for watching again, guys. All right, I'll see you soon.